loosen up our shoulders. Um, so we're gonna do that with our arms out here. We're just gonna do some shoulder circles first, just kind of going forward. And I'm gonna count to 10 or 15. And you just wanna be doing them not fast, kind of like nice even pace. And all we're trying to do is get some blood flowing. So we wanna activate like the really big muscle groups first. Let's go the other way now, whichever way you were going, go the opposite. Just kind of get that movement going. Nice, Jeremiah. Keep them moving. What's up, Vincente? How you doing? Ready. Just keep those moving. Now drop them down. So now we're going to do some shoulder shrugs. So shrugs are going to go backwards, right? We're going to pinch our shoulders together like we're trying to wrinkle our shirt. So we're going to do 10 of those. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do a trunk twist. And a trunk twist, you can kind of put your arms at a 90 degree here. And we're just going to turn into our core like that. Do not tighten up right now. We just want to get some flexibility going right now. But try to remember that core posture. Don't be slouchy one way or the other. You want to be sitting pretty straight up and down, even though you're twisted. We're just going to hold that for 10. And then what I'll do is at the 10, I'm going to bring you back to the center, stop for a second, and then we're going to go the opposite way. That way we're just warming all those big muscle groups up. Okay, come back to the middle, hold that. Now go the opposite way. Keep holding it. Hold it. Good. Now we're going to go forward. So take your hips, plant them, and bend yourself forward um, as far as you feel comfortable doing that. And you want to just, we're going to hold that one. I'm going to actually really time this one. We're going to hold that one for 15. Here we go. Nice deep back bend. Really let that stretch out. If you're seated, you should feel it like in the bottoms of your hips. If you're on the ground, you'll feel it more in your hamstrings. Keep pushing down. Okay, now let's elongate. Let's go high. So again, core posture, nice and straight. Go as high as you can with your hands. We're gonna hold that one for the same amount of time. Just hold that straight up in the air. Kind of move your head around if you want, kind of get your neck a little bit loose. As tall as you can be. Five more seconds, hold that. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna jump in. So again, we're gonna do planks. If you're a seated athlete, you're gonna do those twists. So I will move you at the 30 seconds, you won't have to count. Um, then we'll do crunches, which would be the same. Remember the crunches, you're just pulsing down to your knees. So you can even, if you want to twist, you can twist. So like you're doing sit-ups from the ground, it's the same idea. You're, you, can, you can twist. If you don't want to twist, you can just be going straight down. Keep your fingers at your head. Don't put them behind. Keep them right at your ears like you're saying what. And you're just going down to your knees as close as you can get. When we do boats, um, which will be our third exercise, you're going to be doing those pulse, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, float, no floats, hovers, geez, I can't talk. Hovers, so just engaging that core, lifting that body up in the air as much as you can. And then we'll do Russian twists together and then that'll be a 30 count. That's the other place you can have weights. So if you have a weight, when you're doing Russian twists, the weight is just tapping. If you're seated, it's just coming right over your hips. It's not, not resting on the ground at all. So this whole time, we don't wanna rest on the ground. We wanna engage the core the whole time. So we're gonna start with planks or the twisted crunch, I will time Craig, up. Craig, am I late? I just made it on. No, oh, Paul, you're perfect, man. You're right on time. Look at you, just jump right into a plank. It's gonna be amazing. All right, so we're gonna do this for a minute. So if you're doing that twisted crunch, remember, roll into the twist and then core up. Don't core up before you go. Um, here we go, we're gonna go for a minute and I'll move you to the other side of the twist, up and away. So if you're doing a plank with me, keep that body level. 
don't like don't lift your bum up in the air but also don't let it sag down that's how you hurt your spine just keep everything nice and tight okay if you're twisting in that crunch you're going to get ready to switch sides here right now so release and then switch and then core up right away again so we're all holding our core for the same amount of time. Keep everything really tight. If you're doing a plank, don't let it sag now. If you need to take a little bit of weight, you can always drop a knee down, but just keep the form the same. Keep that form nice and straight, almost there. Beautiful, okay. Crunches, everybody can do the crunches the same way. So if you were a seated athlete, remember, you're just doing that twisted or straight down. Um, everybody, we're going to do 15 of these. Here we go. Well, if you're on the ground, hey, you got to move. Go this way. Thank you. If you're on the ground, remember, your hands are behind your head, but they're not interlaced. And you're only coming up, you're just pulling your shoulder blades off the ground. So here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do boats. If you are seated, you are doing the hovers and you're gonna hold that hover the whole time. So we're gonna do boats low to high. So boats, are your feet are out here? Your hands are, hey, you guys, go. Go this way, keep going. Your hands are, your feet are out here in a low boat. Um, go, thank you. <laughs> like this, a high boat, your feet are up here. A low boat, your feet are here. Hands are here. So you're always, your hands are staying the same. All we're doing is pulsing our legs up and down. All right, we're gonna do 20 of these. If you're doing the hover, you're gonna hold for the whole time. So here are the boats, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Beautiful. Okay, Russian twists are the same. You're just going side to side. If you have a weight, it's just clearing your hips or touching the ground if you're on the ground. We're gonna do 30 of these guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Okay, two minutes in between. Drink some water if you have it. Getting all warmed up. I'm being overrun by dogs. Guys are doing good. Why don't you guys go somewhere? Why don't you go somewhere else? Did that make sense, all my seated athletes? Did that make sense? Awesome, good deal. I didn't see anybody like drifting off, so that's good. It's always a win. So again, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna add time at the third rotation. So we're doing four today. So planks will add a little bit of time, um, which means that twisted crunch will add some time. Crunches will be the same amount. Boats will be the same amount. Russian twists will be the same amount. Um, 
And we do boats and Russian twists together because it works the front of your core and then the sides of your core. Um, it's kind of nice when you do them side by side or back to back because um, then you know you're working the whole range of muscle. Planks are really good for your erector muscles and your back. Again, huge core um, advantages when you're climbing. Because if your core, or if your back muscles and your erector muscles are strong, you can stay on the wall longer. So we're going to start into planks here in about 20 seconds. So if you're doing planks, get ready. If you're doing um, twisted crunch, get ready to do that. About five more seconds. We're going to start with a one minute plank or a twisted crunch. All right, here we go. Up and away. Remember, think, think about your posture the whole time. Your form is important. Doing good. Keep that form straight. Okay, if you're the twisted crunch type of person, get ready to switch. Switch, go in the other direction. And your core not tight the whole time. Really focus on that muscle group. Doing great. 15 more seconds, doing great. 10 more. Five more. So good. Perfect. Okay, crunches. Everybody's doing crunches. Come over here. Watch out. Go this way. Okay, so 15 of these guys. Watch out. Sorry. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Okay, boats or hovers. Boats were doing 20, hovers you're hovering for the whole time. You said that. Um, remember, high boat to low boat, or the hover the whole time. Hi. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Okay, right to Russian twists. 30 of these puppies. That's a dog pun. Here we go, right off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. Awesome. Okay, two minutes. Drink some water. Halfway there. Only thing that's going to change now is we're going to do a minute 15 for crunches and twisting. But again, you'll just, I'll switch you off at, uh, so what would that be? 37, I'll switch you over. You guys are killing it. Halfway there. Everybody's probably warm now. I was cold when we started. That's about 30 seconds. That's my pen. A 
Okay, we're going to go into our third rotation. Oops, sorry. And we are going to start again with the planks. And then we're going to move right over. So this time we're going to clip through quicker. Um, we are taking, I was kind of taking my time. Um, so these last two, I'll move through quick. So we'll go planks, crunches, boats, twists. Um, if you're doing, if you're a seated athlete, you're doing the twisting crunch, regular crunch, uh, hovers, and then a Russian twist with us. So if you're going to do a plank, I'm going to get ready to do that. If you're doing the twisting crunch, remember I'll switch you over at 37 seconds. Everybody else is just kind of hanging up in the air for minute 15. All right, here we go, up and away. Keep that core nice and tight. Form is very important. Holding it all up. Focusing on staying nice and rigid the whole time. just about to pass 30 seconds. So if you are twisting, get ready and switch. Keep that core tight though. Everybody else is nice and rigid. You can drop that knee if you wish or just stay nice and straight. Okay, we're just coming up on a minute, so 15 more seconds. Keep holding it. All right, keep holding it. Five more seconds, doing awesome. Beautiful. Okay, right into a crunch. Excuse me, thank you. Okay, 15 crunches. Everyone's doing those. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right into boats. Or hovers, boats we're doing 20, hovers you're holding for the whole time. Here we go, straight into them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, Russian twists. Right into those. Clipping along. Here we go. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Awesome. That was a good pace. I like that. Okay, we're going to stay there for two minutes. Drink some water if you have it. Same rotation. One more time. You guys are killing it. Even Luna thinks you're killing it. She's just hanging out. Camera. Looking real nice. <laughs> She's all proper right now. She's beautiful. So I was just um, at my two o'clock class, I was talking to um, a veteran that was has been doing this six-week program. Um, she was 
she has some shoulder injuries or, or in her past. But anyway, we were talking about part of this, like she was having some pain um, and it turns out she wasn't drinking water. So it's super important to be hydrating even when it's really cold out. Um, it makes such a huge difference. Like if I don't drink enough water, I feel really bad. Um, not that you won't be sore, but it does help mitigate it somewhat. So drink, 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 water, water, water. There's my water pitch for the day. I don't think she drank, the way we were talking, I don't think she drank water during the day. So she would do it when we were working out and that was it. Um, and so she was pretty sore. Her muscles were pretty, pretty dehydrated. Okay, last rotation. Minute 15 for the planks and for the twists. Getting ready, we're about 10 seconds out and we're gonna clip right through them like we just did. Oh, it's a good stretch too. All right, so if you're getting ready to turn into the twist, get ready to turn in. If you're doing a plank, here we go, up in the air. So on the last rotation, really focus on the form. This is when I get sloppy, this is where I'm tired. So it's better to have more form than more quantity. So concentrate on the form as much as you can. Just coming up on 30. Just keep holding that. If you are twisted into that crunch, get ready to turn to the other direction. Go ahead and turn. Everybody just keep everything tight. Nice and tight. Keep holding. Coming up on a minute. So here comes 15 more seconds. Keep killing it, keep holding it. Keep holding. Five more seconds, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, right into crunches. 15 of these guys, everyone's doing the same. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful. Okay, boats or the hover for fun. Okay, 20 of these guys hovering for the whole time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, last thing, Russian twists. 30 of them right into them. Here we go. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. Awesome job. Well done, people. All right, drink a little water. We're going to do some stretches again. Um, the other thing, I don't know if people have access to um, foam rollers. Uh, our son hurt his hip. So the other thing, if you have access to a foam roller, roll out your shoulders and your back. Um, it'll just make them feel better too. Um, if you don't, that's totally fine. Uh, but we're gonna stretch now. Um, let's do that core twist. So this time I'm gonna do it with my legs. So if you're a seated athlete, your feet or your hands will just come onto your leg and you're pushing. Um, if you're on the ground like me, 
you're gonna drop your arm over your knee, opposite knee, and you're gonna twist into it. And we're gonna hold those for 30 seconds. Go ahead, pick whatever side you wish. Keep your head straight ahead, like you're looking down a straight line. That will kind of torque you a little bit better. If it feels too much, like too much of a torque, turn your head. Look the way you're twisting or pushing because it kind of loosens up that straight line. Keep holding that. Five more seconds, we're gonna switch. Switch sides. Keep a nice even push. It's not, it's not like, there's no pulsing at all. Nice and even. Keep pushing. Five more seconds. Good, now go straight into bending forward. Nice, even bend over. We'll hold that one for the same amount, 30 seconds. Keep that bend. Go as deep as you can. Keep it nice and even. Good, now go high again, nice and tall again. Good core posture, nice and tall. Oh, your stand's up. Really get that spine out, straight, strong, good posture. Doing good, 10 more seconds. Stay tall, stay tall, stay tall. Beautiful. Good job, guys. That was awesome. That's 30 minutes of fun.